So I've been giving it a lot of thought and we get asked a lot on this channel about smartphone podcasting and people struggle a lot with getting good sounds with two people or more on their smartphone. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to see if I can get Veronica to record a podcast episode, one of the Pod Sound School podcast episodes, using her smartphone while I use my smartphone. So let's see if she's okay with that. Hey, Veronica. What are you doing? You hard at work? Yes. So I was thinking we could record a podcast episode using your smartphone and my smartphone and demonstrate for our Podskis how we can then drag those files off of our phones and put it into the computer and make a really cool Pod Sound School podcast episode. Oh, okay. Like right now? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Hello and welcome to the Pod Sound School channel, the place to be for all things podcasting. As you can see, we're here in the studio. I'm Veronica. And I'm Studio Steve, and we're excited to answer the questions that we've received here on YouTube from many different people. There's been two common questions. The first one is, can I record a podcast on my phone with two or more people or with two or more phones. And the second one is, can I transfer the files from my phone onto my computer so that I can have more editing options and make my podcast sound even better? So we decided to go through the process. We're gonna be the guinea pigs for this experiment. And we're going to record our podcast episode using our phones. And for those of you who don't know, we have a podcast, it's the Pod Sound School podcast, and we're gonna leave the link in the description below so you can listen to the podcast episode that we did only with our phones. Yes, and after we're done recording it, we're gonna show you how you can take the files from both of our phones, drag them onto my computer, onto my laptop, and we're gonna use my favorite DAW or audio editing software for podcasters. It's called Reaper, really easy to use. And I'm gonna show you how we can sync up our files and put these together into one podcast episode really easy. So it's gonna be really fun. Make sure you stick around until the end. But before we move on, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified of our weekly video releases. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. As you can see, we have a little bit of a mumble jumble going on here. Uh, do you care to explain what we have? Yeah, so we're Almost. using, we just wanted to illustrate how you can, there's a lot of different ways you can record your podcast with your phone. And the best way to do it is to get a stand. This stand right here is just a common tripod. And you can find the link for both of these in the description of this video. This tripod allows you to make videos with your phone and everything else, but you can also spin it to the side and have the microphones facing your mouth. Um, the reason that we have these stands in the middle of the two of us instead of on the side of both of us is because we want the microphones to point away from each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is very important. We don't want my the microphone in my phone to be picking up Steven's voice or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And for the purposes of this video, we're really close to each other. But if you're recording with a co-host in the same location, you could separate yourselves even more by distance so that you get even more separation between your two microphones. Mm -hmm. um, and then Veronica's stand here, this is actually our favorite setup for smartphone podcasting. So we actually did a video about this and you can find the link for it right here. And that shows you how you can get set up with this simple podcasting setup. There's this desk stand or a desk mic stand. And if you get a little adapter, you can put a phone clamp onto it and have this really nifty and convenient uh, stand that you can move around and get to the perfect place that you want. So this is my favorite way to podcast with your smartphone. And then of course you could always hold your phone. Mm -hmm. um, holding it this way, just like you would a normal phone is fine, except that your cheek will very commonly stop the record that's going on. Um, and it's just, it doesn't give you that podcasting feeling. It's like you're making a phone call this yeah. way or you are recording a podcast. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now that we've explained our setup, let's get into actually recording our podcast episode. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna use this app called Alphonic. And Alphonic is a really cool app. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. We'll leave the link for Fophonic. this. Fophonic. Fophonic. 
Hooked on Phonics. We'll leave the link for er, this app in the description of this video as well. Mm -hmm. But it's a great app. It's free and it's available on iOS or on Android phones. And the reason I like it more than any other app you might use on your phone is because it really gives you control over the quality of the audio that you record and it makes it super easy to share the files when you're done recording. Okay, so let's take a look at the Alphonic app. Super easy to use. You see there's a big red record button for us to record when we're ready. But before we do that, up in the top right corner, there's a settings wheel. Let's click on that settings wheel. And here, this is important. Take this step to improve the quality of your audio. There, if you scroll down under recording, it says format. If we click on format, we have two options. AAC audio is similar to MP3 audio and it's lower quality than the one below this, which is WAV or PCM audio. WAV is what's called a lossless audio and it's just higher quality. So let's select WAV there instead of AAC. And then let's continue down and you see how it says sample rate? We could click on sample rate and here it says device default or we can go to the highest possible number, which is 48 kilohertz. That's a really great sample rate. Now we're gonna come down to where it says precision and from precision, we click on that and now we can change it from 16 bit to 24 bit. Basically the higher the numbers, the higher the audio quality. Mm -hmm. So now we're all set up to record. I can press done and we're all set up to record our podcast mm -hmm. episodes. Okay, so once we press the record button, we need to do something to sync these two files up because it would be really hard for Veronica and I to press record at the exact moment. So what we're gonna do is either snap our finger or clap our hands once we press record. And that will create this sharp spike. We can look at that spike in the waveform when we grab it and pull it into our audio editing software. And then we can move the two files perfectly on top of each other. And I'm going to illustrate how to do that once we're done recording our podcast. Sounds good. Okay, so let's go ahead and press record. And now you can see that we're both recording. And uh, do you wanna give us a clap? Yeah. And you saw even in the audio of the app here, how that clap went up. Mm -hmm. And now we can just start recording our podcast. Maybe we'll slip this video into a little time lapse so that you don't have to watch us record the whole thing. <laughs> and we'll pop back on after we're finished. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now we've taken the stands out of the way and we just have our phones. And here on both of our phones, you can see that we can see pretty much the same looking recording, right? Mm -hmm. um, and this is cool. If we click the back arrow here, we'll go to all of our recordings. And here we could actually click on this and we can, where it says recording three and yours says recording four over there, we can rename it. Let's name it PSS, PSS Podcast Veronica. And here I'm gonna name mine Steve. We can say done there. So now if we go back, we can see all of the recordings we've made. So it's a really good idea in Alph Alphonic to get to keep these organized and always name your files. And then if we click on it again, you see the share icon. Mm -hmm. It's a box with an arrow coming out of it. We can click on that and it gives us options to share file or you can even put it to your iCloud drive. Mm -hmm. um, and this. Are you uh, going to share with me or am I uh, going to share it No, with so you? what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my computer here. Uh, you can go get some more work done. I know I interrupted your day. <laughs> and um, This was fun though. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. And then I will show you guys how we can drag these files from both of our phones onto a computer and edit them together into a really cool podcast episode. Okay? I'm curious to see the end result. Yeah. Um, to hear it. Hear the end result, <laughs> yeah. And then I'll come get you when I'm done so you can come listen to the okay. end result. Okay, okay, great. All right, um, well, see you later, Veronica. Bye, everyone. And let's, okay, so as you can see, that was super easy. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna airdrop these files from my phone and from Veronica's phone over to my laptop. So to do that, you can see on Veronica's phone, she had PSS Podcast Veronica, she named it that. So let's start there. I'm gonna say share file and Right here, I can airdrop, and I'm gonna put it to Steven's MacBook. Then it pops over here to my MacBook, and I accept it, and there it is. There's a lot of other ways you can share it. You can email it. I think you can text message it. There's a ton of ways that you can actually get the file very easily off of your phone. And then here it is in the download, so I'm just gonna drag it and pull it onto my desktop for this demonstration. And now I'm gonna repeat that same process on my phone with the share button, share file and I'm going to airdrop it to Steven's MacBook. 
and then it will pop over here. This one's taking a little longer than the last one. Oh, there it is. And I'll accept that. And I'm gonna drag this and put this one on the desktop as well. And then of course, if you wanted to stay organized, you could create a folder or it's always a good idea to have folders for each podcast episode. So I'm gonna call this PSS two phones episode and whatever naming convention you use for yours and I'll pop these raw recording files into there. Okay, and one thing that can be really tricky when you're transferring files from your phone to a computer is Reaper or many of the other audio applications, the DAWs won't recognize the file types. From voice memos, they come in as a .aac and from our Auphonic app, when we made it a wave, it comes in as a .caf and Reaper doesn't like that file, it's not gonna see it. So we need to highlight both of these from within the folder and say encode selected audio files. And this will turn them into MPEGs, which Reaper will be able to read, and we'll put the destination on the desktop and say continue. Cool, so now we have two versions of these. We have the CAF version and the M4A version. The M4A version is gonna open up in Reaper for us. Then we can close out of that, and now let's open up Reaper. So this is what Reaper looks like when we first open it up. Reaper is free to download and it's free to use for 60 days, so definitely go download it. It works for PC and Mac perfectly fine. I can hover to the finder from my taskbar here on a Mac and go to my desktop where I have these M4As and these CAFs, and I could grab the two M4As and drag them onto into Reaper. And it will ask me when I do that, do you want this on a single track or do you want these on separate tracks? And I'm gonna say separate tracks. So you can see it doesn't take very long. And there we go, both of my files are now in Reaper. This is really cool because this is my entire podcast episode. Here I have Steve, so this is my microphone, and then down here I have Veronica, so now I can get to editing right after I sync these up. But before I do that, I want to mention that if you're using a PC, you will need to download VLC in order to import these M4A files that you get from your phone into Reaper. So once you do that, it only takes a minute, you should be able to drag any audio files from your phone into Reaper on your PC, and we're good here on the Mac too. Other than that, uh, based on the Mac or the PC, Reaper works exactly the same and looks exactly the same. And you can see I can simply make my tracks bigger so that I can see them. I can hide my mixer here by pressing Command M and I could really make these big. And this already, you can tell by being on a laptop, I have way more control over being able to edit my audio and actually visualize my audio and see what's going on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in all the way on these audio files. And remember when I talked about that sharp spike that you see? Well, here's the sharp spike. So when I clapped, it was right here. So what we can do, and I'm gonna take the magnet off here so we can really get precise, is we can zoom all the way in on that spike. So I'm zooming all the way in by pressing the plus and minus key. And that allows me to get really zoomed in to the very smallest part of our audio file. And I can get this clap to be perfectly synced up by making those audio files appear to be the same exact file. So you get it as close as you can. They might have subtle differences in their shapes, but what we're really looking at is this spike. Cool, so we are synced up. So now that we're synced up, I can actually come here right to the snap where it's at, and I'm going to highlight both of these tracks or both of these items and press the S key to split both of these items at the same moment. Then I'm going to highlight both of these items again, and I'm gonna press G to group them together, and now they'll kind of move around as one thing, which is awesome. I can make a lot of cuts, I can do whatever I want to really sweeten up and edit this podcast episode without these two microphones or these two files from the phone ever losing their time relationship with each other, which is really awesome and as you can see, really easy. So now that I've synced those two files up, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this podcast. Now, I'm not gonna get into a very deep tutorial and really explain everything that I'm doing while I'm doing it. I'm just gonna kinda demo how I would quickly edit this podcast episode. But if you really want an in-depth training in Reaper, I actually do offer a Reaper for Podcasters course, and you can find that by going to podsoundschool.com r4p in that course whether you're brand new or maybe you've been using a free audio editing software like audacity and you just have a headache and you're pulling out your hair or you just really want to get really good at editing then definitely come check out this course it'll get you up and running with editing really fast and really easily without any of the bs and any of the stuff that you don't really need to know to get professional podcast sounds 
So with that being said, let's just pop into this and start editing this. I'm gonna grab some headphones. So this is just gonna be a demonstration of how I would throw this together as a podcast episode. I'm gonna speed through it really quickly. Um, you won't have to watch this in real time, but you could just see all of the possibilities that you have in Reaper. Okay, Patskis, that was a lot of fun. I hope you learned a lot. Remember, if you want to listen to the whole podcast episode, you can do it wherever you listen to your podcast. Our podcast is the Pod Sound School Podcast. Mm -hmm. So we made this video for our Podskis based off of the questions that they had for us here on YouTube. So if you have any questions, drop them here in this video. Let us know any struggles or ideas that you have. We'd love to run experiments. We'd love to help our Podskis improve their podcast. Also, you can find us on social media at Pod Sound School. And before we go, two things. No olviden a salir tan rea. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. <laughs>